Welcome! In this video I'm going to be taking a look at this Wavelink Wi-Fi 6E Tri-Band AX5400 PCIe adapter. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So we have some specs on the back. You can pause and read through those. This talks about what's in the box. We have the adapter, Bluetooth cable, two external antennas, baffle, quick start guide, several screws, and this is compatible with Windows 10, 11, 62-bit, and later. So let's get this open. Here we have the adapter, the antenna, and the accessories. And here's the quick start guide. So it has installation instructions. It says unplug your PC, connect the Bluetooth cable to the adapter, plug it into the PCIe slot, find an available FUSB slot, and connect the Bluetooth adapter to it, attach the antennas, install the back on the PC. This talks about installing the drivers. You can download those from Wavelink. Okay, so we have the cable here and the short slot cover and a couple screws. I think I mostly just need the cable there. And here's the adapter. So there's the adapter. It has a giant heat sink on it. I'll plug in that Bluetooth cable. So that's ready to go. So let me get a PC to install this in. Here I have an HP Z230 workstation. I have a free PCIe slot here. Now every PC is going to be different, but we want to pull the cover off. So on this one, it has these tabs on the outside and that folds the cover back. Let's line this up. So I need to take this out here. And I'll line the card up and press it in. Now on some PCs you may need to unscrew that. I'll snap that back in place. So that is looking good and I will look for a USB connection. Okay, so I was having trouble finding a USB header and I was researching online. Then I remembered there's a diagram on the back of the cover. So this is going to be different for every computer, but on this HP computer, if we look here, it says internal USB 2.0 header is seven, and that's off to the side. If I look on the motherboard, there's a port here that says media. So it doesn't say USB on the silk screen on the board, but it tells what it is on the diagram. So if we look over here, we can see media. There's one of the pins blocked out and there's one missing here. So we just line those up and plug it in. The next thing I need to do is install the antennas. So it doesn't matter which one they go on. So I'll rotate these so I can bend them up like so. So now I'll get this all connected up and we'll boot the computer. Okay, so we're booted up. I'll go down to search and I'll search for a device manager. It currently shows generic Bluetooth adapter and other devices network controller. So I need to download the drivers and it came with a little card. It also had the instructions. Now this is not connected to the internet yet. There are a couple of ways you could go about this. You could download them on another computer and put them on a flash drive. This computer also has ethernet. So I'll plug into ethernet temporarily to download the drivers. So I'm at Wavelink now. I'll type in the model number and that's listed on the bottom of the package in the left corner. For this one, it's WL-WN. 675x3-c. I'll hit enter. I'll hit search. I'll scroll down. I'll click on it. We have drivers for Windows or Linux. I'll download the Windows driver. I'll open it. I'll right click on it. I'll extract it. I'll open it up. I'll go into Wi Fi. And we have two drivers here. One is for 32-bit and the other is for 64-bit. So I'll open up the 64-bit one and I'll install the driver. I'll go back and go into Bluetooth and I'll do the same here. Okay, that's finished. So we'll go into the device manager and under Bluetooth, we see the Bluetooth adapter and under network adapters, we see the Wi-Fi card. So I'll disconnect Ethernet. So to connect to the internet, I'll go down to the globe in the bottom corner here. I'll click on it. 
It's showing my network connections. So I'll choose one. I'll choose connect and I'll connect to it. It's asking me if I want to allow my PCs to be discoverable. I'll say yes. It says this network uses Wi-Fi 6 for better coverage and performance. Enjoy. Close that. So let's open up a speed test. So this is a speed test that is hosted on my local network. So this is not testing internet speed. It's testing the speed of the Wi-Fi adapter. Now there's still many variables involved, so this may not be super accurate, but it will give us a good idea of what this is capable of. Okay, so we got 823 down and 911 up, so we're just under gigabit speeds. Okay, so I had to take a step back. Those numbers weren't looking quite right to me. So I did some research and I found with Windows 10, the current driver does not allow you to use the six gigahertz band. This isn't an issue with this adapter. This is an issue with the Intel driver and maybe Windows itself. So I found a forum post that says you need to revert back to using 22.45.1.1. So instead of installing the latest driver, you can use that. And I don't think this is an issue on Windows 11, just Windows 10. So I installed that driver. So let's go back into the speed test and we'll start this. And now we're getting the speeds I was expecting. So if I round those numbers, we got about 1.8 gigabits per second down and up. So I'm currently connecting to an ingenious ECW336 Wi-Fi access point, and that supports the Wi-Fi 6E. So this can also connect to Bluetooth. So I'll go to Start, Settings, Devices. I'll go to Add a Bluetooth device, and I'll set my keyboard to Bluetooth. I put it in pairing mode. I'll hit Bluetooth. I'll choose the Bluetooth keyboard. Now I can hit Alt Tab and we can see my keyboard is working. So this is a Bluetooth 5.0 keyboard but the adapter supports Bluetooth 5.3. So that was the Wavelink Wi-Fi 6E Tri-Band AX5400 PCIe adapter. If you use that older Intel driver on this, on Windows 10, you can access six gigahertz networks if you have a six gigahertz access point, and you can get those really high speeds. So on my test here, I got about 1.8 gigabits. Of course, that can vary depending on your own network, but that makes this Wi-Fi adapter almost twice as fast as ethernet. Now, if you have lots of devices on your six gigahertz band, that could slow things down. But you might be in a situation where you have lots of things on your 2.4 and 5 gigahertz band, and moving over to the 6 gigahertz band can give you that open channel that isn't as congested. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.